Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the security threats. In the previous video, I explained about the virus and the worms of the security threats, different type, uh, the types of the security threats. In this video, I want to give an, uh, I want to explain the remaining types of security threats. So the next one is the Trojan horses. So what is this Trojan horses? A Trojan horses, it's a destructive program usually pretends as computer games as application software so what is trojan horses security attack so what suppose if you are working on something on your application suddenly a window will be appeared or some message will be uh, saying it's a computer game if you want to install try to install it it's an application software which is very useful for your application okay if you're on that stream so try to install this software so like that a message will be coming so if you try to install that it is going to distract your computer it is going to steal your data it is going to distract your program so the Trojan horses, it is a destructive program, a simple program. It, it is just pretending as a computer game. It is just showing like it is a computer game. But if you install, it is not a computer game. It is just pretending that it is a computer game or it is an application software. But actually what it is, it is a destructive program. That is a Trojan horse. So what this Trojan horse is doing, it is just pretending as a computer game and the application software what exactly it is doing so when you try to install that it is destruct your program so it means it consisting of a destructive program so it executed computer system will be damaged suppose if you try to install that if you think that it is a computer game and if it is, you think that is an application software if you try to execute that the computer system will be get damaged it is usually comes with monitoring tools and key logger so uh how it is going to become okay it is usually comes with the monitoring tools monitoring tools will be there means if you're suppose like if you want to install something like the flash player for this or something if you want to install otherwise your application will not be run like that if it is just coming with the monitoring tools and the key loggers it may arrive as a friendly email attachment even sometimes this trojan horse security threats is also arrived just like a friendly email attachment or present itself as a useful application on website it is just pretending you it is an useful application if you didn't try to install this software your software will not work it is just pretending you so students be careful while you are trying to install these types of the softwares these types of the district you you are thinking it is uh a real program okay you are thinking it is just pretending you okay okay sometimes you may get the correct one also but before try to install something just go through it just go through it and uh, actually it is compulsorily needed to our application or not you just think about it if it is compulsorily needed then you try to install that okay before installing that you just check it in uh, the different uh, website or in the google you just try to uh, evaluate it and then go with it okay sometimes you may get the good uh, good messages and sometimes you may get this trojan horses so it's just try to pretend you uh, because it is just like a friendly email attachment and also it presents itself as a useful application on websites so it does not have the ability to do self-replicate so whereas the worms uh, it's have the self-replication but trojan horses is does not have the ability to self-replicate so uh, but to deliver destructive payloads and unload viruses worms or spyware so this is about the trojan horses now let's have a look on the spyware so uh, remember that students those this trojan horses whenever this type of security threats is there it's just trying to pretend you to compulsorily install those types of the applications uh, so because it, they needed to your system so don't believe that first verify that whether compulsory you required or not once go through it then you try to work on it okay otherwise it is a virus which is going to damage your system now spywares spywares it is a program that gets installed without user's permission so just like uh, the worm the worm is also it does not have the user permission a human assistance will not be there in the spyware is also it gets installed without user permission it monitors the user's activities on the internet and transmits that information to the third party see that's why it is a spyware spyware means it is keeping some eye on your data it is monitoring the 
activities that you are working on the internet and also it transmits your information like the useful information your account details your passwords and your uh, uh, kyc information everything to the third party so this is one of the threat the security threat the spyware if the spyware is a threat is attacked to your system it is going to monitor your user activities on the internet and transmits the information to the third party next next one is the root kits so what this root kits will do it is a single program root kit is also one type of the security threat it is a single program or collection of a program designed to take complete control of the system see here what this root kits is going to do it is it is just uh, take the complete control of the system you are working on the system sometimes if you observe automatically your mouse is going to be moved your mouse icon is moving and the windows are opening and the closing and some you think what happened what happened suppose uh, the keyboard is automatically pressing v v v v b b b like that it's uh, pressing like that that means a root kit security threat is attacked to your system means it's what it is exactly the root kit is just simply a program or a collection of program what it is this program will do it design to complete take the complete control of the system it gives the hackers all the abilities of the system administrator from a remote location so this is what this root kit will do so it is handovering all these control of the system to the hackers then the, uh, like the abilities of the system administrator from a remote location it is often used to attack other machines distributed spam or steal passwords also okay it's a distributed spam or steal password so that is the uh, work this uh, root kit security threat will be do so what it is doing it's just controlling your system uh, it uh, take complete control of your system and it gives a hacker all the ability of the system administrator from the remote location and the next one is the back doors the next one is the back doors so what is this back door back door is a trojan uh, just like a trojan back door trojan allows someone to take control of the another user's computer via the internet without their permission actually some softwares will be there so with the with the user's permission only uh, one system can work on the another system means he can take the control of the another computer if the user permission is there suppose a request is coming from one of the uh, another system if you try to act if you ask accept that invitation then only they can control your system okay so that is with user permission so but backdoor so uh, security threat is not like that it is also it is someone of uh, it is also someone to take the control of another user computer via the through the internet without their permission so without their permissions also they can accessing your system via internet that is the threat backdoor threat if the backdoor threat is occurred to your system so your system can be controlled by the other computer without your permission next cookies actually this cookies if you think sometimes it should be a good and sometimes it should be a bad so what exactly this cookies are cookies these are files on your computer and one more thing students you don't uh, you think that the, the why i have written so, so much of matter like he. because if you are writing some exams means for the uh, academic exams you need the theory concept right so if you if i tell simply like writing uh, without uh, this uh, content explain without this content some people may not understand so that's why i have written these much of contents which may help to uh, helpful to your writing the exams okay so don't take it as uh, why i have written this much of stuff okay is explaining simply is sufficient okay not like that it is useful for your academic exam so that's why i have written this much of stuff here now cookies these are the files on your computer that enables the websites to remember your details obviously when you're working on a new sites or if you're working on that some cookies will be coming means they are asking that they want to uh, save your password they want to do something means uh, uh, it will be helpful uh, if you're working uh, on the frequently if you are working on some websites that information will be stored on the cookies so cookies are the files nothing but on your computer that enables the websites to remember your details when you visited a website it can place a file called cookie on your computer this enables the websites to remember your details and track your visits 
It can be threat to confidentiality but not your data. Remember that. The cookies will not uh, threat means it, it, will, it will not steal your data. It's just threatening your confidentiality. That's it. Means how many times you are using that website and how many times you are working on that website when you are accessing that website. Okay, like that. It is just maintaining some information regarding that file, uh, websites that you are working on that. So the cookies is just, it's, it's a file which stores these type of information. So it can be a threat to confidentiality but not to your data. Remember that. And coming to the next type of the security threat, that is a key logging. Key logging. It is a process of secretly recording keystrokes by an unauthorized third party. Key logging, the name itself, it is saying that we are working, it is a threat on the keyboard. Means it is a process of secretly recording the keystroke. So whatever the keys that you are pressing on the keyboard, so that keys are going to be secretly recorded by an unauthorized third party some third party person is going to record your keystrokes so like that he is going to find your what you're going to type on the, your system what is the passwords what is the credit card numbers and what are the uh, pins that you are working on that so it is going to steal all this information with the help of the keystrokes it is often used by a malware to steal usernames passwords credit card details and other sensitive data so this is one type of the security that that is a key logging it is going to secretly record the keystrokes by an unauthorized third party okay so these are all the different security threats that may occur while you're working on the internet okay while you're working on the networking thank you